I'm David Iyakia, minister at Mbali Church of Christ, and I'm glad to be here again today to speak to you on a topic, hope amid its fear. We began this topic last time, and in that topic I talked about how we can trust God amid its fear. And for this time around, I want us to talk about biblical fear. Now, biblical fear one would approach it in different ways. Take, for example, the fear of the world that brings anxiety, that shows you how much you've failed, that looks around and sees frustrations and uh, all this kind of fear around you. But this time around, I'm talking about the fear, and this fear is all about us being around God. And so there are two aspects that I want us to look at here. The aspect of us honoring God, and number two, the aspect of us reversing God. Now, when we talk about honoring God, we are basically talking about respecting God and esteeming God. Now, different people honor different people for many different reasons. Take, for example, if one would honor his child, if you're a parent, by the way, if you honor your child, there is a way or a kind of way that you can do that. But then if you're honoring, take, for example, an army officer who has come back from war, there is also a different way, way you can honor that person. So honoring varies on position and power. And for this round, I want us to check from the book of Proverbs. It's crucial for us to study this book of Proverbs because it's a wisdom book at the time where people are full of fear and frustration. It's good that we study the wisdom books. And so for today, I've chosen the book of Proverbs for us to study. And this will give us a glimpse on how to cope up and how to deal with these frustrations and, and fear. So briefly, I want to read from uh, Proverbs chapter 1 and uh, verse 7. This, this passage is, is quite familiar to many people, and so many people like reading it. And so today I've also decided to share with you about this. So this is what the Bible says. Fear of the Lord is a foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. So this passage here, I'm going to split it into two. The first part that talks about fear and the second part that talks about wisdom. Now for today, I'll talk about fear. And next time in my next recording, I'll talk about wisdom. So when one talks about fearing God, what comes into your mind? Is it the fear that we see around the world where there is a big gap between you and them, or you and him. The fear I want us to look at today is as one, the aspect of honoring God. Like I said, that honoring is not just being around, but honoring is respecting and esteeming, and that depends on how you want to do it. Now, honoring God includes a lot of things. For example, respect, uh, reverence, submission, adoration, admiration, praise, and also obedience. All those things around us give us a glimpse on what honoring God is. Many people have tried to honor God 
by their lips. Understanding and what God is, but then doing the opposite. Submission, for example, have we given the whole of ourselves to God? Are there things that we can look at and admire about God? Are there things in this situation that we can see and say, amidst the fear, but because of this item, because of this value of God, because of what I'm seeing, I need to honor God for that reason. Now, honoring God, people would honor God differently. One, sometimes because of what God has done to them, or because of what they have achieved, or because of somebody just told them, hey, come and we go and, and, and worship, or come and we go, I tell you about our God. But I want us to understand that the best way that one can honor God, especially at this season, is respect for God, reverence for God, submission for God, admiration for God, adoration for God, and obedience to God. When we do all these things, we are sure that we are actually honoring God. Now, aspect number two is reverence to our Father. Now, reverence is just not knowing, but also immersing ourselves, creating that affection and relationship with the Father. Some people know about God. Many people know about God. They know, oh, God is a great God. They know, oh, God this, did this. They know, oh, all these amazing things about God. But they don't really have that close contact relationship with the Father. So fearing God is also understanding and having that close affection and relationship with God the Father. And the essence of us fearing God is what Jesus speaks in Matthew. So I'll read with you the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 to 38 says Jesus replied you must love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul and all your mind if you fear God you should be able to fear God with the whole of your heart the whole of your mind and soul understanding the whole being of you it's not just by yourself, but the whole being of you, it's all about Christ Jesus. And for, for now, I want to speak to you again. If you have not given your whole of yourself to Christ Jesus, then probably you are, you are not reverencing God. Because this depends especially giving your mind, your soul, and also giving the whole of yourself to the Father. So I want to finish up this with reminding you that two aspects matter in fearing God. One is honoring God. Number two, reverencing God. In this season, it's very important for us to honor God and to reverence Him in this situation in so doing we will get solutions in dealing and coping up with what's going on around us may i pray with you father in the mighty name of jesus i want to thank you for reminding us through your scriptures that it's only fear for you is when we can fully understand who you who you are and who we are. For the help us and teach us ways of honoring you and ways of referencing you. Father, above all, we thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ who is there for us and advocating for us now and then. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who teaches us and who continues 
to allow us and give us the ability and the chance to speak and also to reverence you. In Jesus' name we pray and live. Amen. God bless us all. Thank you.